Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne and, and this is a video called The Consequences of My Addiction to Prostitute. Let me start um, with a brief history. Uh, when I was 18 years of age, I moved to Sydney, Australia uh, from Coffs Harbour, which was a uh, the beachside country town with less than 20,000 people in it. I moved to the big city and one day in the city, I went with my cousin to drop him off at work. And on the way to work, we went through a red light district uh, in Sydney called King's Cross. And uh, as we were walking down the street, I'd look at these street walkers uh, who were in bikinis and uh, halter pants and uh, quite attractive and uh, when I'd look at them they'd say do you want to uh, hire a lady do you want to spend some time with me and uh, and uh, my cousin uh, just egged me on and uh, called me to keep on walking and I went to his workplace and he left and went into work and I came back and uh, I walked up to a girl that was attractive and she she said, do you want to hire a lady? And I said, how much? And she said, $20. And uh, and I said, is that all? She said, and you've got to pay for the room, $10. And uh, I uh, had the money on me. I used to carry cash then. And uh, I went up and I was a virgin uh, to women. Uh, I'd been sexually molested on a beach and been sleeping with men up until then. Uh, but... Uh, uh, I was a virgin when it came to women and I went up into this uh, seedy sort of uh, room and paid this uh, older man uh, $10 and uh, she went and uh, proceeded to take off her clothes and uh, have sex with me. Um, I soon uh, realised that, uh, that uh, the more money you pay, the higher quality uh, that uh, you get in women, uh, the uh, young one uh, that I spent $20 uh, was almost like a street kid who'd uh, come to the uh, streets of King's Cross and uh, there, there were certain brothels uh, in King's Cross which were cheaper but I found out there was a term called escorts and uh, escorts uh, sometimes work independently or work for an escort agency uh, the quality of the escorts in some escort agencies is really uh, profound. And uh, and uh, so hence came my addiction. Now, some of the consequences of uh, my addiction to prostitutes was that I was the only member of four children in my family who never bought a house. Uh, uh, a prostitution addiction causes financial poverty. And uh, it says it uh, in scripture that uh, you'll come to ruin if, if you're addicted to a prostitute. Uh, a man who sees a prostitute will always be uh, uh, in poverty. It says something like that. I um, did a video on uh, breaking free of my addiction to prostitutes. And it's uh, in the, um, one of the videos I did on, on my homepage uh, in the last couple of days. But um, uh, I, I can tell you that uh, the addiction will uh, keep you uh, perpetually broke. Uh, and uh, I used to uh, not be able to go more than two days after I got my pay each fortnight uh, from my workplace before I'd spent my money on a prostitute. And uh, uh, there's a cereal in Australia called Whippix, uh, which is just uh, shredded sort of wheat, and uh, you can have four bars of it and crush it up and have it with milk. And I learned to live for three or four days on Whippix with spending all my money on a prostitute. Uh, so I've uh, lived uh, many, uh, many, many times uh, just eating breakfast cereal uh, for food three days, uh, three three times a day or a couple of times a day for four days or a week uh, in extreme poverty. Uh, so uh, uh, that's one of the consequences of, uh, of uh, 
sleeping with prostitutes and it's the one that's going to really cost you uh, f financially uh, it's going to ruin you and uh, we, we've got plenty of examples of uh, rich businessmen who spend so much of their money on uh, prostitutes and uh, escort uh, uh, a, a second consequence is uh, you see women as sex objects. Um, it's it's not uncommon uh, for me, uh, or what well, wasn't uncommon for me to just undress a woman in in my eyes that uh, I see in front of me. Um, uh, because uh, you can go to an escort and uh, and hire. Uh, absolutely because you can go to an escort agency and hire absolutely stunning women um the the women um are look like your, your typical uh 20 year old uh girl and uh so uh, when you see a typical uh 20 year old girl you can see her in the light of hiring her and uh, it reduces uh women uh, sadly uh it reduces women to this uh attitude to, to this uh, uh, place of being a sex object in your eyes uh, that uh, if if you offered uh, this a young woman on the street enough money uh, she'd sleep with you and uh, you sort of uh, almost have that attitude uh, I, I remember uh, personally uh, being on the way to uh, have a dirty massage or, or sleep with an escort or to go to a brothel and uh, uh, I'd see women on the way, and I'd say I can have a girl like you, um, and uh, and I'd be on the way to the brothel, and that would excite me. I'd always see a pretty woman uh, as I was walking to the brothel, or <coughs> going to uh, going to the place where I was going to have sex, and uh, the the pretty the pretty women that I'd see on the way walking in the street would be reduced to a sex object. I'd be saying in my head, I can have someone like you. Um, and uh, it's uh, pretty uh, disgusting uh, for uh, someone who perceives uh, in, in all, uh, all honesty, uh, people perceive him as a beautiful Christian, someone who, uh, who uh, uh, preaches Jesus and demonstrates Jesus in all of his life outside of uh, this addiction uh, so uh, uh, and he's looking at women and and uh, perceiving them like this uh, so uh, one of the consequences of uh, of having a prostitution addiction is it makes you uh, live a double life there's there's a hidden life there's a life uh, that's uh, secret and hidden and uh, not many people uh, would ever find out about it. Um, uh, in uh, in my addiction to prostitutes, um, uh, after a few years, uh, I came to really regret it, and uh, I came to a place where I didn't want it existing. And for many years, I battled the addiction, uh, wanting to give it up. I I, uh, I tried prayer. I, I tried. Uh, uh, a Christian term, repentance. Uh, I tried uh, uh, exorcism, uh, deliverance from demons. I, I tried uh, counselling. Uh, I went to uh, multiple counsellors, and my chief concern was my addiction. And uh, the counsellors weren't able to solve it. Uh, the exorcisms didn't solve it. Uh, my repentance didn't solve it. My praying didn't solve it. And uh, and uh, so. Uh, there's a verse in the book of James in the Bible uh, that says, uh, confess your sins one to another and, uh, and uh, you'll be set free. And uh, so in my books, as I wrote my books, uh, uh, and I've got uh, 58 uh, published books, uh, in my books I used to write that I had this addiction to prostitutes and pornography and uh, I wanted to uh, be set free of, of that addiction. And... Uh, it's important to want to be set free. Um, there, there's reasons 
why you may want to be set free, you don't want to be perpetually broke. Uh, you, you may want to change your attitude towards women. Um, you, you may uh, feel condemned and uh, feel uh, guilty for what you're doing and you know that it's not right. Uh, there's many reasons why you may want to stop. And uh, I was in this quandary uh, for many years. Uh, I was uh, heartbroken with my addiction. I was uh, stressed and, and, and hurt and broken uh, with my addiction. Uh, but I wasn't able to get free of it. It had me in its clutches and, and its claws, and uh, I wasn't able to get free. Uh, another consequence is uh, it creates an aura to make women nervous around you. So I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, there's something that happened in my uh, many years of sleeping with young women uh, that... Um, that created an aura around me to, that make uh, other single women or other women uh, nervous around me. Uh, it seems that uh, I've always had this struggle to maintain uh, a conversation with a woman and uh, other other men, other uh, yeah, other men, other guys uh, have relationships with girls and friendships with girls, and uh, it's quite natural. Uh, for a male to have a friendship with a girl, but I was never able to uh, have girls in my life as friends. And uh, and it's this uh, contact, like uh, I had contact with my mother for many years until she died. Uh, it's this uh, friendly contact that you're after. Um, I, I've said it uh, many times that if, if I could have found a prostitute just to be my friend, uh, I would have... Uh, I would have found that I didn't need to see prostitutes. It was um, it was this connection, wanting this connection with a woman, uh, that uh, that uh, fueled my addiction. It wasn't so much an addiction to sex. It was wanting this connection, and I think it's similar to porn. I think. Um, you're wanting this connection with another woman and uh, and uh, so you're connecting through pornography. Uh, another consequence of uh, of uh, my addiction to prostitutes is not trusting women. Um, I've, I've had um, I've had this uh, cynical view of women um, and uh, it comes out sometimes uh, when uh, women are commentating on the football or something like um, I, I say to myself, I have this uh, bias. Uh, I says to myself, what would a woman know about football? Uh, why, why is she even commentating? Uh, all she's ever been is a spectator. She's never played football herself. Uh, now we've got women's football, but uh, and uh, I'd, I've watched a game, uh, some of a game the other day, but uh, for, for many years, we haven't had women's football. And uh, so I used to get out of sorts when a woman uh, commented on the cricket or commented on football, on a sport that uh, women don't play. I used to have this uh, real attitude and still do have this attitude. And uh, I think that uh, it's one of the consequences of just being able to shell out money and sleep with any girl I like. Um, so uh, there's uh, many consequences uh, to uh, sleeping with prostitutes and, uh, and it's not just being perpetually poor. Um, your, your ideas and uh, your attitudes uh, towards women, uh, you're constantly undressing women in your eyes. Uh, you're looking down on women. You're seeing women as pawns, as uh, fodder. Uh, so as someone that you can use and abuse, um, they, they're all, um, you want to come in James? Yeah. yeah, just wait a sec. Um, yeah, so they're all consequences. Um, and, uh, so I hope, uh, this is, uh, this, uh, video has, uh, encouraged you and, uh, and uh, I've got a um, prayer that you can pray in the end. Um, and, uh, 
and uh, have a look at that. Um, uh, how I got free uh, is uh, is uh, uh, just uh, this year I started um, uh, uh, a series on conversations with the Holy Spirit, and uh, I tried all different ways of of getting free, and uh, God just came down and supernaturally set me free of my addiction of to prostitutes and my addiction uh, to pornography. Uh, and uh, it's just uh, the temptations went away and uh, the temptation could be 10 and, uh, and then it got reduced to one that uh, the temptations when they come in, they're just in the power of one rather than the power of 10. A couple of times in the last few weeks, the temptation to view porn has been seven out of 10, but mostly it's been one out of 10. I've been able to deal with it, um, but it's supernatural. And I can say uh, to people who are watching, it's only uh, the grace of God. It's only uh, the, the kindness of God that has set me free. And uh, for many years, uh, I wanted to be free. For many years, uh, I, I cried and I struggled and I prayed and I wanted to be free. And uh, so I can uh, pray for you uh, that uh, you can uh, be set free too. Uh, addiction to prostitutes is a very harmful and uh, very uh, self, self incriminating, self, uh, self um, destroying, soul destroying sort of uh, way of life. And, uh, and so I pray for you. Um, uh, everyone watching, I pray for everyone watching that uh, God would allow a way uh, for you to break free. Um, and uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just uh, uh, pray that uh, you find a way uh, to get free of this addiction. Uh, I, if if you like my video, press like. Uh, if you didn't like it, press thumbs down. Uh, if uh, you want to see more Christian videos. Uh, Subscribe to my channel, um, and uh, if you want to read my books, uh, look at them under Amazon, under Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, thank you for listening to my video. God bless.